What's up guys, I'm back with another tutorial on how to use uh, VJ based tools. So last time I talked about the MPC bullseye, today I'm going to talk about the MPC relationship modifier. So before I talk about the settings in the tool, I want to talk about on how the classes work in VJ base. So for example, if we were to spawn a clot and a gore fast, let me enable AI. As you can see, they don't attack each other. That's because right now they both have the same class called Class Killing Floor Z. Basically, what VJ Base sees this is it looks at this both of these NPCs and it says, "Oh, they both have the same class. That means they are supposed to be allied." So, if I were to shoot this guy, you see he comes to his help. Or if he was uh, if he was to see an enemy, he would call for help and he would you know come for help. So that's that's basically how the class system works. It's basic, simple, and pretty good. Now, if I were to clear the clots table using the tool over here, so if I were to press left click on him. It says apply the relationship class table on clot. So right now, clot's uh, class is empty. Because as, as you can see, the big box over here that says class, it's empty. There's nothing in it. So if I were to spawn another gore fast, they would attack each other. Because he no longer has the class killing floor Z. So VJ base looks at the two and it says, oh, wait a minute. The, this one doesn't have a. This, this one doesn't have the same class, that means this is supposed to be an enemy to it. So, if you want to apply a class, like a new class, like add one in this table, there are a couple ways to do it. The first one is to simply obtain the class from the NPC using right click, like right here, class killing floor Z and apply it on, let's say, another NPC, like for example, the Hunter from Halo. I press it on them, as you can see, apply the relationship. Now they both have the class Killing Floor Z, and they no longer attack each other. So if I were to spawn a Gore Fast, they don't attack, or a Husk, they don't attack, because now they are friendly to each other. He's getting too far. All right. So yeah, it's 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 that simple. Now another way to add a class to the stable is to type it in manually. If you know the class, like you look at the code and you see what the class is, or you obtain it from another way, you can type it in here. So let's say um, let's say I want to apply the class combine so basically VJ NPCs that are friendly to combine have this class now one thing that I want to mention is that um, some unofficial VJ base add-ons might have done this wrong and did not put the prefix class in front of it or probably put it lowercase or, or something like that so be aware of that and if if you if you are a person that makes uh, VJ base on official add-ons, um, make sure you do it this way. Make sure you type in class, and then a line, and then the name, and always use caps because y using lowercase is not the best way. It's harder for VJ base to detect it. Okay. So right now in our table we have killing floor Z and combine. So let's say what NPC? Uh, I I divine Cyberman. He has a combine friendly NPC, the Federal Trooper. Now by default, it has a class combine in it. So if I were to disable AI real quick and put another clot, apply this onto the clot. Now the clot has the class it had before, Killing Floor Z, but also class combine so if I were to enable AI they don't attack each other 
But if I were to spawn a gore fast, as you can see, they attack each other, but he ignores them. He's he's not getting involved because right now VJ Base says the gore fast and the federal trooper were enemy, but the clod is friendly to both of them. But both of them can like call for help for the clod and he might he might end up walking over here but he wouldn't attack anybody. He would basically just check out what's going on, probably tell them to stop fighting. <laughs> nah but you know. That's that's how it works, it's pretty simple. So yeah. This is this is all all there is to it. It's pretty simple. And actually one one last thing I forgot to mention is the reload one. When you press reload. So if I were to disable ignore players and let's say I spawn a clot. See he attacks me. But if I were to apply it to myself by pressing reload, now he no longer attacks me. See? Same with the federal trooper right here. See? But they but they attack each other because they don't have the same class, but they ignore me because I'm friendly to them. So yeah. It's per it's it's pretty simple to use and it's it's pretty useful if you wanna make a battle like maybe between I don't know, like killing floor. You know, this is this is one way to do it. So yeah. And you know you can press reset to default and it resets the whole thing. Alright. Thanks for watching guys and I hope you guys have a better idea on how classes work in VJ base and how to use the relationship modifier.